Hello, right, we're back again. Another review. Um, this time for the Baofeng T1, the BF T1. Um, this radio has been out for a little while now, and uh, other YouTubers <coughs> have done videos on it. <coughs> Excuse me, but I thought I would do a quick review of this radio. Again, Ringway Manchester. <laughs> I big that guy up, don't I? He's done an excellent review of this as well, so I'm going to keep this to a nice short ish review and uh, I'm going to take it out to the usual spots and do a quick range check uh, back here to base just to see how we get on. Uh, it comes with the usual book, words, uh, again you know not too bad but probably not necessarily but it details all the uh, all that you need to know about inserting the battery if you're not sure but I'll quickly go through that with you. Very good value this, I mean $9.99 delivered from gearbest.com, I'll pop some links down in the description there if you're interested in getting one of these in the UK. I really don't understand why anyone would go to a local retailer and buy a PMR radio when you can buy these. Okay maybe they're borderline legal uh, to program on PMR but they do at least have a fixed antenna and um, they, they very definitely won't live up to the power expectations that uh, China certainly say they will do anyway. So that's an earpiece and microphone. We get the radio, a little packet there. You get um, an insertable battery. Now this may seem an issue but it's actually not too bad because once it's in you can charge the radio uh, for the side of the radio so it's not a problem. It comes with actually what is quite a, a reasonable, I haven't took it apart, but a reasonable power adapter. Some of them are pretty hokey but this actually comes with one with a USB output directly onto it. Uh, this takes uh, the micro USB type uh, connector there, not to be confused with the mini USB connector which is obviously bigger. Um, also comes with a handy little uh, lanyard if you want to dangle this thing around your neck. Um, I'm not so sure many of you, of you would do that but if you've got kids it might be worth uh, doing so they don't lose the radio. And finally inside the box we get a belt clip. Now. <clears throat> I've got a lot of uh, these cheap Chinese radios and I find the belt clips are very very useful. Even though taking them off does make the radio smaller and slimmer and easier to pocket. I find that when I'm out and about, particularly with the family, that um, uh, I like to clip this onto, onto my shirt pocket or onto a coat or something and uh, it just uh, it just keeps it a little bit more secure. Not not that it would be the end of the world if you, if you uh, lost these. Right, let's have a look at uh, how the battery pops in and then we'll take it out on the road to the usual locations and do a little bit of testing with it. Right, when you get the radio it will come um, with these two screws actually connected uh, to the back of the clip there. You just unscrew those and pull up on the bottom of the battery cover and the battery cover will just slide out. And then inside there there's uh, a little tiny packet of screws which you can then use to secure the battery cover back on. So basically the, the battery, it's a bit of a little bit of a jam actually, but the battery does, it connects up into, into that location there. Now if you're very careful when you put it in, you can perhaps see how I did it. I took the spare piece of cable there, just in the top of the foil behind the battery there, just to keep it out of the way because Ringway Manchester on his video found it was a bit tight getting the back cover on otherwise. Um, it's a little bit fiddly to get that in there. For me I needed to just stop the video and put my best glasses on. Right, you'll see that the lid actually <clears throat> just, just clips in the bottom. There's some little clips on the bottom edge of the lid. See them there? And they just hook into two little slots on the bottom of it and then you push it down from the back and then onto the top and then it clips into place at the top there. Now it's, with this battery actually on this one it's a little bit of a tight squeeze. I've got the cable in there um, correctly so we'll just screw down this battery plate. Where Manchester found this on his video that the, the battery clip does help secure that so I won't bore you with that. We'll just pop the battery clip on and then uh, we'll see what it looks like. Right now I've got that on, that actually looks uh, quite secure down the side there as you can see uh, from the video, if we can get that a bit closer, how close can I go, there we go. Um, it doesn't seem to be bulging out at all. Um, I mean it's just as well you wouldn't have to, you wouldn't want to take that battery off, um, off regularly so it's as well that you can charge it and onto that there's the charging port in the bottom of the radio. Let's just unhook that. Um, and again you can see in there it's your standard uh, mobile phone micro USB type uh, connector. Right, um, so this is it, this is the radio, we've seen what it weighs, how big it is. Um, there's the power on button, it's got your usual function light on the top of it, it's quite loud, it's just... Right on. Yeah, <laughs> so you can see that isn't the quietest of, uh, of radios on its, uh, 
I've heard, I've heard people mention it can be quite loud even on the lowest setting. Um, uh, one thing to mention, if you are looking at getting this ready, you'll notice that the it's just a numerical display. There's no uh, there's no uh, characters out alpha. It's not alpha numerical, so you are going to have to remember when you program this um, what uh, what channels that uh, that you have on each each setting. Um, to be honest, these these are probably going to be used on PMR, so um, it's not going to be uh, too much of an issue for me. It does have um, sorry about the volume. I'm not going to go through that, but it's, it's the standard menu that you see on uh, on many of the bow fangs. Goodness me, uh, where's the volume? There we go. Let's let's try turning the volume down a little bit. Goodness me, that's loud, isn't it? Well, look, <laughs> you can see what I mean. On the lowest setting, it's only just quiet enough. Um, as you'll notice out of the box, these will need programming, uh, depending on where you are in the world, obviously. Um, but I would definitely recommend that you get the uh, the programming cable. Now, I ordered these radios from Gearbest with this specific programming cable for the for the radios um, uh, and software. So um, I, I would recommend that definitely that you do that. Um, it's the usual uh, programmable buttons on the side, uh, off button on the top, the light, and the uh, the speaker jack on the other side. Let's just double check that. Uh, that's a single. Yeah, that was the reason you can't use your standard uh, cable, your standard twin Kenwood type cable, is because this is a single jack for uh, for programming. So you do need to buy the specific cable. Now I got these from Gearbest, like I say, for ten quid delivered uh, and the cable I think was 399 so <laughs> it's actually quite expensive compared to the to the radio there particularly when they bundle the um, these headsets in with every single radio I've got I think I don't think I've ever used them so uh, you know if they were listening to I'd much prefer you but you don't bundle this and you uh, in fact don't even bundle that because who hasn't got either of these and in fact definitely don't <laughs> throw that in um, you know I could have done without all that really and had the programming cable would have been far more useful so but anyway i digress um yeah so we'll actually take this out to the the usual locations and do a little uh, range test with it and uh, see what the audio quality is like we'll hook it up to the sdr um i've still got this uh, a lot of people ask about the sdr i've still got the standard 10 pound ebay dongle sdr although i am looking at upgrading to something a little bit better uh, very shortly so, uh, but watch this space uh, for that information. Anyway, that's enough rambling from me. Um, I think we should definitely go out and do a bit of a range test with these. And uh, I'll try and compare this to um, another similar radio, maybe the V77 or something like that, just to see how it compares. Something I have found uh, whilst I was programming this radio is, and I'm sure it's something that you'll do, is I've pulled this little rubber tab out twice now it basically just the little end of it just sits in there and it seals the bottom just push it in there and then it seals the bottom of the flap um, just underneath there to cover it you push that down to stop water getting in and stuff but twice now when I've pulled the cable out that sits next to the cable I've pulled the cable out and just pulled the <laughs> rubber thing out with it so uh, I don't know how many more to, to put it back in you have to take the, the put those two screws out and these two screws out so um, just something to be aware of that guys um, be really careful when you're unplugging the cable not to pull the little rubber thing out otherwise you have to take the battery cover off every time just thought I'd mention that so yeah you can see the uh, how the how the uh, so easy to pull that thing out um, <laughs> I've done it twice and I'll do it again so I'm just gonna say if you do this when you unplug the cable just pinch it there don't go anywhere near that because you'll just yank that out so uh, I know I wouldn't normally recommend doing this with anything else, but on this radio, when you disconnect it, just unplug it from there and you're not going to uh, end up pulling out your little rubber flap. We've got, the, uh, got some shells in from our radios now, we just needed to uh, plonk them somewhere. Uh, I was going to choose some radios to take with me to test against. IC Night Do D, EVA2, and UV5R+. Plus. Um yeah, okay, five X. Tomfa. Ah yes. I 
think that's it. Right, today I'm going to be shooting footage for uh, actually for three videos. So I'm going to take all these radios out with me in the car and test them against each other. But these are the, th the, the three that are going to be mainly under test, the three new radios. So uh, we'll pop outside and do some testing. Right, I'm here at location A. Uh, all the radios there. Uh, this is three miles from my elevation, from my home location, and approximately another hundred foot above sea level than I am. I think I'm three eight seven. This is four eight seven. I think. There's some notes here. Uh, home elevation is three hundred eighty four foot, and location A is four hundred seventy six foot. So I'm a bit higher than I would be at home. But we'll we'll see how we get on. Here we are then with the little Baofeng T one. This is G7 LNK Portable with the Baofeng T1 at location A, approximately 3 miles. G7 LNK Portable with the Baofeng T1 at location A, approximately 3 miles. Right, we're here with the, uh, the Tonfa UV95, UV985. This is G7 LNK Portable testing the Tonfa UV985 at location A. A, approximately three miles. This is G7 LNK portable testing the Tonfa UV985 at location A, approximately three miles. Here we are with the good old FD60. This is G7 LNK portable at location A, approximately three miles with the Yaesu FD60. This is G7 LNK portable at location A, approximately three miles with the Yaesu FT60. I think that was a successful test-ish, I think. Um, let's move on to location B, which is about six miles as the crow flies to my home destination. And from there, we'll test all the radios again, and we'll also check and see if we can get access into my local repeater, which might be a bit of fun for the uh, for the little T1 radio, because it's about 12 miles as, as we go. Uh, I think it's pretty much line of sight, so we should be okay. Anyway, let's go over to location B. It's a little bit windy here, so apologies for the, uh, the wind noise on the microphone. Right, here I am at location B, which is approximately six miles as the crow flies in that direction. Uh, the box of radios is in the boot, and I'm going to do a test, a full test. Now, like I say, I'm testing loads of radios for three new videos, um, but you're only going to get to see the new radio tested against two other radios in this test, so you don't see it doubled over the three videos if you catch my drift. Okay, right, we're going to go and do that, set that up, uh, let's play radio. Right, we'll try it again. We're, at, we're here at location B, approximately six miles with the Bafang Baofeng T1. This is G7 LNK Portable at location B, approximately six miles with the, with the Baofeng T1. This is G7 LNK Portable at location B, approximately six miles with the, with the Baofeng T1. And here we are with the Tomfa UV985. This is G7 LNK Portable at location B, approximately six miles with the Tonfa UV985. This is G7 LNK Portable at location B, approximately six miles with the Tonfa UV985. And here we are with the Yaesu FT60 at location B. This is G7 LNK Portable with the Yaesu FT60 at location B, approximately six miles. G7 LNK portable with the Yaesu FT60 at location B, approximately six miles. One thing I thought I might do, just for fun, is to test the three radios um, portable. Um, so when I'm driving in the car, just a short test. Uh, I'm going to have to turn around down the road a couple of miles. So I thought I would just do this as a bit of a test uh, and see how we get on driving mobile with these radios. This is G7 LNK mobile with the Baofeng T1, Baofeng T1 mobile handheld in the car testing. G7 LNK mobile at right now with the Baofeng UV, uh, UV, the Baofeng T1. G7 LNK mobile with the Baofeng T1. Well, I mean, 
the, the what can I say about the Baofeng T1? It's a great little radio. Um, it for what it costs, it's nine ninety nine delivered. Um, I mean, <laughs> and you saw what it came with the uh, lanyard and the and the and the, the earpiece and everything else. It's it's fantastic. Uh, it's really a toy radio though. I mean, it, it's probably the, my least favourite of all the radios that I've tested. Um, it's it's a handy, nice little size, but something I would strictly just use for PMR and for messing around with the kids. It's not going to be one of the radios that I would particularly choose to do anything serious radio-wise with. But then it's not meant for that. It's a, almost a throwaway radio. But um, I hope you've enjoyed the review of this radio. There are more reviews coming up on the channel, and. Um, Tune in next time and, uh, and we'll, we'll review some more and test some more radios here on the channel. Thanks for watching and remember to like and sub subscribe to me. If you're not already subscribed, that really, really helps me and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. So if you have been, thank you for watching.